nice. Yeah, that looks way better, that one. No wind today, so we're just hitting the cable, we just set it up. Last year I enjoyed this so much, it was so much fun, so... Gonna give it another go this year. Sigve's on it right now, nailing some sick shit. Boom! Oh, mate. But I'm gonna just shape the kicker a bit with the guys and just try and make it a bit wider, because I think at the minute it's too... The wider angle is better. So it's a System 2.0 cable, which uh, kind of goes back and forth, and it's controlled by a, by a guy standing on the edge. And it goes, it goes back and forth along a track, which means that you can hit a kicker and a rail both ways, so you get like maximum time on the snow. It's pretty. Uh, it's normally used on the water, but uh, it's put one on the snow. And we're going to see how it works. Now. That was my first go for ages. On the, it's kind of similar to like on the water, but yeah, you just forget about your edges and stuff when you come in. Right, the, the landings are a little bit more brutal as well, aren't they? Yeah, definitely. But it's kind of similar. I can deal with it. I think it's good fun. Yeah, the rails, the rails are pretty. Yeah, it's pretty doable. Good. Yeah. Lately I've been riding the cable quite a lot. Yeah, I really enjoy it and it really, when there's no wind, then it's the perfect crossover really. It's like, it's quite a similar kind of feel with the tricks, a little bit more power. But riding rails and, and kickers is super good fun and it's kind of a weird deal, but I really enjoy it here. It's just more or less getting the takeoff right and then once you're in the air, it's quite similar. And same on the rails, once you jump up on the rails and have a bit of tension, it's, it's almost better because you have like more flex in the board and really press. So. Okay, big.